Hey everybody, Greg from the Caddis Fly Shop. Today I want to discuss spay casting, specifically the bottom hand. Spay casting has become very popular the last decade. Over the last few years, trout spay has become very popular. And I encourage everybody to watch as many videos as you can, go out with people who have experience, hire a guide. But I want to discuss the bottom hand today because I see a lot of people forcing it with their top hand. And really your top hand should just relax, nice comfortable grip in the batter's box and it stays put. It's your bottom hand that's doing all the movement. You want a loose grip and it's that movement that you want so you could cast your line out. A tool that I use daily to practice my spay casting is a chuck it with a chuck it ball. And you might be asking, why would you use a chuck it to practice spay casting? Let me show you. Instead of just chucking it, why don't you practice your spay? <laughs> Set up, hand down, loose grip, toss it. Toss it with control, toss it with style. Do not toss it looking pushed. If you start looking like you're forcing it, remember you're probably using too much of your upper hand. I encourage you guys to film yourself or have a friend film you while you're spay casting. Sounds kind of narcissistic. <laughs> However, it will improve your cast. Try to chuck it. I sit every night with my dog, as you can hear, and I just do that all, all night with it. Give it a shot. Remember, it's that bottom hand. Take care.